on the table. It is all about one of the more silliest brands out there, Exploding Kittens. Oh, come on. What's so great about that? Watch what I can do. You can turn into slime. Wow, that's new. So we have Exploding Kittens from C3 Construction. We have a whole bunch of buildable minifigure packs to go through and the amazing Exploding House scene set. Let's get right to these amazing kittens. Let's begin with the Exploding Kittens buildable minifigure collection. There should be eight kittens to collect with bonus cards included. On the back of the bag we have an image of the collection. Looks like a very interesting variety of cats and tricks. If you look closely right in here there is an imprinted code. Hopefully that will help us collect the collection today. We will see as we move forward. So we begin with bag 12918ZD. 29. And explode. Inside the bag we have Harry Potato Cat. How adorable and weird. Harry Potato Cat based off Harry Potato Cat card. But the card included is Rainbow Ralphing Cat. Never have enough of those around. Construction on Harry Potato Cat is rather simple. In fact, it was already constructed in the bag. We can break it apart in the midsection. And it looks like the feet come out. Little Lego minifigure feet. and back together. Also in the pack we have a collection guide and this little information packet gives you all important information on the Exploding Kittens bonus starter cards. So the Harry Potato Cat, this is a cat card and it is powerless on its own. Play two potato cats as a pair to steal a random card from another player. Well Potato Cat you're super adorable and a good start for today. Potato Cat, yum! And now bag 13018ZD or bag 30. And it's the Barodactyle. Based off of this attack card, attack, awaken the Barodactyle, and your turn without drawing a card. This one is ferocious. Looks like we get a Taco Cat card with this pack. I have a feeling these might be random though. Collection guide. Attempting to look a little closer at the Barodactyle. A little bit smaller than I imagined when I saw him on the pack. I thought, oh, it's going to be larger, but it is just a minifigure size. Look at the headpiece, though. If you look closely, there's actually spirals on those eyes of the Barodactyle. And the Barodactyle has some wings fitted right under the headpiece. Very fun. Interesting legs they've got going on these and arms. Very cute and scary. Next up, package 31. We have found a pigacorn. Based off this See the Future card, rub the belly of a pigacorn. So not everything is cats. Pigacorn, very pink with a unicorn horn, has a grumpy face. There's some good detail in their faces. To construct, pretty simple again. Head removes, feet remove, and that's about it. They're so far mostly pre built. Looks like I've got a catermelon card with this one and all the other guides. Pigacorn is ultimately very cute. On to bag 32, this one was heavily smushed in. Curious to what is so awesome inside. And your turn, it's a Caterwalkie. Wow, what a cat. And so far the most complex out of the figures we have found. I like the little fire element piece they have here. It's kind of like what Lego has, but just a little bit upgraded. Then we have some wings on the back of this cat and a little tail that we placed in. Pretty easy to build, very similar to the others. Headpiece, wings fit in next, body, torso, and the little mini feet. Kind of a rubbery feel to these guys. It's not a completely solid plastic. Got our character guides and stuff. And it looks like we have a Taco Cat card. We'll get to Taco Cat soon, I hope. The Caterwalky minifigure based off this attack card. Unleash the Caterwalky and your turn without drawing a card. I think they got the likeliness pretty good. 
I love all the spirals going on in all the kitty's eyes. And now for pack 33. We have drawn the catermelon, hack foop, as it shoots out a seed. You can kind of see from this view as it's spitting. No seed though. Very cute and silly. I always feel like this is some sort of gaseous giant cat. Looks like we have a beard cat card. Those are fun. This is a cat card and is powerless on its own. Play two beard cats as a pair to steal a random card from another player. That's kind of very similar to the catermelon card. Which is, this is a cat card and is powerless on its own. Play two catermelons as a pair to steal a random card from another player. Hack Thoop! This is such a great little minifigure to invade your LEGO City creations. We kitten on to pack 36. Feeling queasy with Rainbow Ralph and Cat. Kinda hard to see this one. There, that's a little better. Rainbow Ralph and Cat. Again with the detail, look at the eyes. Not only is there rainbows in the eyes, but little star elements. And a tiny nose, and a gusher of rainbow from its mouth. We get a hairy potato cat card with this one. Rainbow cat, pretty easy to build. Headpiece, rainbow barf coming from mouth, torso, and feet. And a little tail as well. Look how far he's projecting. Rainbow cat based off the rainbow ralphing cat card. <laughs> This is a cat card and is powerless on its own. Play two Rainbow Ralphing Cats as a pair to steal a random card from another player. So very cute. Oh, we got the camera too. Package 37, this one was also heavily smushed. And it's Taco Cat, and how funny they included the text bubble on this one. I am a palindrome. What is a palindrome, you ask? Well, Taco Cat spelled backwards is Taco Cat. How about that to blow your mind? Also, crazy coincidence here, we have a Taco Cat card included with our Taco Cat. This is a cat card and is powerless on its own. Play two Taco Cats as a pair to steal a random card from another player. There's a lot of stealing going on in this game. What a delightfully strange figure, though. Look at all the meat packed into Taco Cat. Also, a figure that needs very little building. I guess the central piece is the taco. And then the little feet that build in. And I am assuming we could remove the little bubble, yeah. So very simple, but such an important cat for the collection. And our final Exploding Kittens Billable Mini Figure Mini Pack before we get to the Exploding House. Pack 38. And we have finally found an actual exploding kitten with a dynamite kitten. A kitten holding dynamite. It's as simple as that. A cat holding dynamite. Headpiece, torso piece, feet piece with a piece of dynamite to hold. We have a beard cat card included. And this kitten closest to the exploding kitten card where he's munching on TNT, I suppose. Kaboom. Don't get too close to that cat. There you go. And there would be the collection of Exploding Kittens minifigures. I think each and every one of these turned out to be awesome. Easily all my favorites. Now let's move on to that exploding house. Hey. And there it is, Exploding Kittens Collector Construction Exploding House Scene Set. Ages 7 and up, 317 pieces. All sorts of action going on here. Also included Dynamite Kitten, Rainbow Ralph and Cat, and Nope Ninja. This house looks to be based off this Exploding Kitten card with the Exploding House. On the back of the box, look, we have a nice little house in picture number one. Two, something's on fire. Three, the fire is roaring. Four, kaboom! How about that for an explanation? Includes a bonus card for an unfair advantage in Exploding Kittens. Good to know. Also including these card specific items like the laser pointer, therapy lamp, catnip sandwiches, and a therapy chair. Inside the box, instructions to build. Here's your largest bag of panels and beams. This bag with some colorful pieces. This bag with some smaller pieces. This bag with some hinges. Watch out, this bag has fire, hot. Three minifigures of awesome. Oh, another bag. 
Ooh, an amateur archaeology card. Dig through the past and discover ancient treasures. Choose any card from the discard pile. Interesting. And a little more information on that bonus card. So with that, let's begin the build of the exploding house. And constructed we have the Exploding Kittens Exploding House. Not too bad of a build. I think this is one of those times where the set actually looks better outside of the box than on the box. For some reason the house looks all gray and drab on the cover. And in construction it is a bright white with a nice contrasting black roof. And there's some vivid colors inside too. In front of the house we have another serving of the Dynamite Kitten. And Rainbow Ralph and Cat. And we also have the Nope Ninja. The Nope Ninja, based off the Nope, a Nope Ninja delivers a Wicked Dragon Kick card. Stop the action of another player. You can play this at any time. Nope. So a good exclusive minifigure there. Up front we also have this catnip sandwich and the laser pointer. The light is inside somewhere, which I think is a really funny element to it. So we have the front of the house, we have a couple windows, a front door, two side windows. So let's rotate around to the back of the house. All sorts of stuff going on here. We have a therapy chair, which looks to be from this Diffuse card via Kitten Therapy. Secretly put your last drawn card back into the draw pile. And I'm thinking with this tail, maybe remove it or push it off to the side and we can put one of the exploding cats onto the therapy chair. Then over here, there's the laser light element. So if you want to, you can move your laser and uh, point the uh, light right there or move it around on the carpet anywhere you want. I really thought that was a funny idea. We have a therapy lamp right there. I'm not sure which card that goes to. And then we have a couple spring elements that are going to eject all the fire out of the house. I'm not really sure how that works. But overall the inside of the house is very bright. Obviously all the fire elements going on in there on the pieces. But the very bright tiled green floor really enhances the look of the inner house. So let's rotate around back to the front of the house. And I will attempt to push some of these levers down and see if any of the explosions these kittens create are epic. So let's go with this side first. Well, that's about it. Maybe if you hit it a little bit harder. Ah, so maybe I put my fire elements too thick because we're not moving down yet. Hang on. Okay, we sorted some flames out. The trick is to make sure the flame pieces next to the window sills are clear of all edges when they open up. So you might need to push them in a little bit, push them down into the hole more, rotate them so they're not pointing out. Just some minor adjustments. Now I think we might actually get an explosion. Let's give it another try. Aha! We've done it! Half the house has exploded. 
So as you can see, some of these fire elements were rotated out a little bit past the sill here, or up or in, maybe too far up, so it caused it not able to clear this sill very well, but now it's functioning so much better. So you'll want to play with that. Reset our explosion one more time. Boom. That works really well. The front door does not have a lever though. For some reason they probably could have easily attached a lever arm uh, with this lamp lever arm, but then I guess it would have moved into the living room there. And then we have another explosion on this side of the house. There we go. More explosions. So now the house has completely exploded. Fires everywhere. This cat has caused ultimate damage. Again, probably from the card where the kitten is chewing on a grenade. That always seems to go wrong. But delivering us a fun, zany construction set. And of course, once you're done exploding, re-unexplode it. And you're back to a very comfortable living house. So in all seriousness, I think the set turned out pretty well. For a non-LEGO set, C3 construction did pretty good. Instructions can be a little tricky at times, especially when the black pieces and the dark gray pieces look almost the same in the instruction booklet. You can accidentally go wrong there, but if you take a little more time, make sure you have the right pieces. Should be a pretty fun build to go with. Now we have an epic scene set for all our Exploding Kittens minifigures. And that is our C3 Construction Exploding Kittens Collector Construction Exploding House with minifigures. Uh oh! Nope, 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 nope. Exploding Kittens C3 Construction are on store shelves fall 2018. Exploding Kittens minifigure packs run $3.99, and the Exploding House Scene set runs approximately $20. I picked up all these sets over at Target. If you are a huge fan of Exploding Kittens and or Exploding Stuff, this is the collection for you. It's a great introduction to the game with the game cards included, and should give you a few hours of strange fun. Just make sure to keep grenades away from Kitty. That's what I have to say about that. Such a lovely day too. Oops, sorry. Exploding Squirrels. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. <laughs>